This is Expeditions, a Mud Runner game. An off-roading simulation game from Saber Interactive that uses realistic driving terrain and physics mechanics to create a puzzle-like experience behind the wheel. Yep, you heard me a puzzle-like driving game. Something I didn't know I wanted, no, needed, until I started up Expeditions for the first time. Efficiency is the name of the game here, and without a bit of forethought and proper planning, you can end up stuck in the mud or with an overturned vehicle. If you've been following the Mudrunner series, well, first of all, I applaud you because the naming convention makes no sense. You should know what to expect. Slow and purposeful driving mechanics, satisfying terrain deformation that gives the environment extra dimension, and somewhat approachable simulation elements that add a different kind of depth to your standard driving game. Expeditions keeps all those elements intact, but with a bit more purpose and a greater emphasis on exploration. There are three maps in total, although one is a smaller tutorial area, each with their own set of missions that range from deliveries to rescues. As you complete missions, you'll earn cash to buy new vehicles, equipment, and crew members which can make your expeditions more efficient. The best way to describe Expeditions gameplay is tactile. A lot of racing and driving games emphasize the importance of terrain, but very few do that to the mud-caked extent of the Mud Runner series, and the same is true here. It's very easy to flip, wreck, or trap your truck if you aren't careful. Fortunately, to combat the harsh terrain, you're given tools and finer control of your vehicle in order to overcome these tough obstacles. For example, if you're climbing a steep hill, you can switch on all-wheel drive, attach a winch to a tree, and lower your tire pressure to improve traction. With a bit of careful navigation and determination, an intimidating slope becomes an obstacle worth overcoming. However, these adjustments come with their own drawbacks. All-wheel drive burns more fuel, winches require an anchor point, and lower tire pressure can damage your tires. If you run out of gas, get stuck, or wreck your vehicle, you'll need to call in a rescue, which costs money and takes you back to base, which effectively puts you at the beginning of the mission. The beautiful thing about Expeditions, though, is that it's pretty easy to get stuck, but difficult to get truly stuck. You have so many tools and vehicle settings at your disposal that usually some combination of them can get you out of even some of the stickiest situations, especially if you're prepared. If you flip your car, you can use a jack screw to turn it right side up. If you bring anchor points, you can use a winch even if there aren't any in the environment. If you're worried about running out of gas, then pack some reserves. Oddly enough, this gives Expeditions a puzzle-like feel. The objectives may seem simple, but the journey requires preparation, careful consideration, and thoughtful execution. Now, hear me out. You know those moments in Resident Evil 2 where you'd know exactly where to go and what to do, but the way there was blocked by a half a dozen zombies and a liquor you never killed? The puzzle then becomes, what's the best route to my objective and what do I need to deal with these zombies? Oddly enough, I get the same feeling playing Expeditions, minus the zombies and the liquor. Thank God, there is no liquor. If the objective calls for a mountain to climb, then I'm upgrading my winch, bringing some portable anchors, and finding the best route up the hill. When I did manage to climb a massive hill or cross a murky swamp, I'd get that same aha feeling I'd get from some of my favorite puzzle games, especially knowing that there are likely hundreds of ways to climb that same hill or cross that same swamp. But I found the way that worked best for my vehicle and my playstyle. And because the two main maps, Arizona and the Carpathians, are fairly big and feature multiple starting locations, you aren't regularly covering the same ground. Arizona and the Carpathians couldn't be more different from each other. Arizona is a dry, craggy desert covered with jagged cliffs and rocky trenches, while the Carpathians is a lush, mountainous region replete with rivers and swamps. Being able to bounce between both locations in between missions keeps things fresh and interesting. If you'd rather explore these beautiful areas without an objective, there is a free roam mode which allows you to explore the map at your own leisure with whatever vehicle you'd like. And even though there isn't an overarching goal, you can still find side missions and points of interest that earn you cash and materials. 
Free roam mode definitely seems like the ideal setting for co-op play, which the game teases in the menu. Unfortunately, as of now, co-op isn't available. According to Saber Interactive, co-op should come in the next few months. While I have enjoyed the five or so hours I've spent with Expeditions, it really feels like co-op will be the best way to play this game. The minimal story, freeform missions, and methodical exploration could make for a great co-op experience. Now, by no means would I consider myself an Expeditions mud run and pro by this point, especially considering this is the fourth installment in the series. So surely there's an audience already out there and they'll likely be returning for this one. But its puzzle-like approach to driving around the terrain took me off guard and that makes it a recommendation by me. Traveling from point A to B while wrestling with the terrain gives Expeditions a meditative quality. Once you've come to terms with its mechanics and controls, it's easy to get sucked in and lose hours to it. Expeditions, a Mudrunner game, comes to console, Switch, and PC on March 5th. <laughs>